It's not. It's not your headphones. It's your. It's your dumbass. <laughs> did, did you ever thought about that? I my, think my dummy thick ash. Okay. How does that have your any, dumb thick cheeks? Listen. How does that listen, have listen, any listen. effect? How does that have any effect on my recording capabilities? Does it? Does it like change the acoustics of the room or some shit? Explain. Your dumpty chick cheeks. Mhm. Exactly. I don't know how your dumpty works, bro. Well, let me just say that it is an object that has so much mass that it can bend light in space. Are you sure about that? <laughs> I w- I want let you me. to confirm that. Let me yes, okay. Let me let I will me post shine a, a picture torch. on my OnlyFans. Let me shine a torch <laughs> on your dumpty and see if it bends. <laughs> Sorry about that. There's going to be a little bit for you to clean out. Uh but I will post a picture that was the shot on my dumpty. I will post a picture on my OnlyFans and you can check it out. You'll have to pay though. Like a hundred dollars. But I have to pay for your yeah, OnlyFans. Yeah, dude, that's that's the hustle. The, Come on. We had the friendship discount. The friendship <laughs> discount. Okay, I'll give you a coupon for fifty percent off. Damn, that is still fifty dollars though. I don't like this. Yeah. I would show it to you for free. <laughs> I wouldn't want to see it for free. <laughs> Oh god, okay. Okay. Let me just do the intro, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Wait, let's clap. Let's clap. Let's clap first. Let's clap first. (laughs) One sec, I'm gonna do it with my cheeks. (laughs) Yeah, clap with your cheeks, bro. (laughs) Hello everybody and welcome back to the We Are Not Lonely podcast. We're reaching the magical number 13. This is episode 13, and we've decided to do a topic that we're both quite interested in which is music and the music industry and how it fucks up artists wait that's that the right? topic <laughs> is it not isn't that oh my god have i done my research wrong oh, oh no. no oh no oh, no so anyway today's topic is going to be shifted to only fans to promote <laughs> promote your only fans to promote my only fans it's going to be a, interesting uh, he keeps saying like he has a website <laughs> he has a website <laughs> I do, and I'm like, the uh, uh, why while, do you not believe me? While I was in me? the basement, he he he, I I I heard the podcast that he did by himself, and he was like, oh, I'm pro- I have a website, I have a website. Like, what is he on about? Did it by himself. Now, title I know. of his ex-tape. Listen, listen. <laughs> you can say that joke when you start when you actually start watching Brooklyn Nine Nine. Okay. Okay. I did though. Disgrace. I've been watching. Okay, so anyway, anyway, let's get back to the topic. Mm-hmm. This is just me avoiding the fact that I haven't been watching Brooklyn Nine Nine mm-hmm. consistently. Mm-hmm. I've been watching all the st- all the clips. I've been watching clips. Ew, you're a clip watcher. I knew it, bro. I'm a clippity whippity whippity tappity, toopity whoopity. All right. Okay. Why don't you start? Set the tone. Should I start? I think you should set yeah. the tone. Why should I set the tone? Every time I set the tone, all right. It's so dark basically, uh, the wow. music industry <laughs> is is fucking over all the uh, artists mm-hmm. uh, that they have been signed, mostly because the well, mostly because the artists they don't like okay. uh, look or read carefully what their contract is. Or either they don't have like a good lawyer. And even if the label Mm -hmm. gives them a lawyer, the lawyer Mm -hmm. works for the label. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. You know, so they just get like fucked over like, you know, just Um, just like whatever. Like, um, how do I say this? Um, Say if you're an artist in a label. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you're signed in a label, you have a contract with the label. And you, you, you say you're big. And you're you're making you're making the M's, the big M's, yeah? The big M's. Okay. The label okay. normally won't bother you. Okay. Yeah, because okay. you're the you're their golden goose. Okay. Yeah? Okay. You're the cash but, cow. Yeah. In business but, terms. But if you're not doing well and if you're not making any money, but you kinda have the name, uh then they would ask you to do like certain shit that you don't want. Like ads, right? Ads. Oh, mm. there is a film coming up. You can just stand there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, okay. Just they're just trying to like recoup the money, 
like however they can and just trying to like get money off of your name right you're an investor and the artist just gets paid get like return. peanuts mm-hmm. and everybody uh, everybody who who hasn't made it you know cuz mm-hmm. like everybody who's in the creative field they they want to have like their big br- uh, breakthrough right of course that's and the uh, they just want to get that s- faster right. so that's why they get s- they they take the contract <laughs> even if it's okay. bad you know and then they realize it that it's bad that it's bad after the thing so that's that's the whole thing that's happening it's been happening for so long that that only now that people are catching up but even now they are, are still you? Yeah. Why? No, are you seriously suggesting that people didn't know that this is entire thing of people talking about how selling out to the industry is like selling your soul to the devil. Yeah, yeah, that's why There's everybody that says thing, like right? sell the soul to the devil, right? Yeah. I think that yeah. that's what it means. Well, I'm not I'm not too too sure about that. We'll have another topic on that. But mm-hmm. that's basically what it means, but I th- I the thing is Okay. When you have the contract in front of you and when you have all this like promises and when you've been working so hard for like years, right? Mm-hmm. Uh if you're making and your You see that big the yeah, big yeah. check. The big check uh which they don't tell you by the way. They don't tell you. <laughs> They'll be like yeah. we're going to give you 2 million up front and they don't tell you that that money they're going to recoup that from you again. They don't tell you that. That's a loan. That's a loan. Yeah, essentially. They, they don't mm. tell you that though. That's the thing. They don't tell you that. Actually, and they do, but it's in like really small print. It's like in what one pixel. See, like they see, like in the contract, <laughs> right? They would have like clauses, right? Yeah. Like they have like okay, you have this, but underneath those uh, thing, right? There will be small sets of shit where they keep it, and they would be like, let's see if the lo- like lawyer sees that, and if they don't, like. Yeah, they can't do anything. You you signed it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like it's not like as transparent as like people think it is, and that's why like okay. everybody who's been in the music industry knows that it sucks. Okay. And everybody who's been speaking truth about it, nobody uh, nobody likes to uh, acknowledge that for some reason. Okay. Okay. Because okay. they see the only the glitz and glamour, right? Right. So like. Makes sense. So it's uh yeah I have a few to, uh topic in in my mind but that's You have off. a few scrotes to scratch. Yeah, I have a few so scrotes to, to scratch. <laughs> okay. I might cool. nibble at it. Who knows? You got to nibble at the scrotes, yeah. you animal. Okay. That's wonderful. Let's talk. Mhm. All right. So mm, interesting in- intro. Mhm. I would have Okay, but like I don't have anything to say that will refute anything you've said because more or less businesses the the streaming industry has okay wait no actually I'm going quite off topic mm-hmm. sorry about that uh, so labels mm-hmm. right I just jumped the gun my brain like went into the future for it's a all good all good now yeah. I'm working on fumes as well <laughs> okay so <laughs> so the label is essentially a business entity yeah yeah and an artist is essentially an investment yeah or the product right? yeah it's a yeah that's the thing i'm coming to next okay mm-hmm. because i'm going to talk about uh, how capitalism mm-hmm. has completely changed the game mm-hmm. i'm like i'm i'm not going to say capitalism doesn't have its benefits mm-hmm. i i agree with that okay mm-hmm. but i'm just talking about the complexity of mm-hmm. navigating this this world right mm-hmm. so Essentially, with the advent of capitalism, pretty much everything has become a product. Mm, yeah. Everything is a commodity. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Anything can be purchased. Mm-hmm. And I and I mean this when I say anything, it means anything. Yeah. Of anything. course, there are legal checks in places to prevent some things being purchased, no, but it still happens. Mm-hmm. Yeah. People with enough money in park can get away with pretty much anything. Yeah. That is right? true. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's uh, we we're just alluding to that, mm-hmm. but we're not going to talk about it. Yeah, yeah. Maybe right. we will. <laughs> you don't know. Maybe you find out. Maybe. Uh-huh. Maybe. 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 Yeah. 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 Maybe. Maybe. Maybe in a future episode. Huh? Mm-hmm. Who knows? Who knows? Who okay. knows? <laughs> <laughs> so let's let's uh, primarily like when we talk about the music industry, one of the most established music industries is in the West and in Korea. Mm-hmm. Right. They did a huge thing. We'll talk about Korea later, but like mm-hmm. for now. When I see the music industry, I'm specifically talking about like the, the West in America. Yeah, yeah. 
all right yeah uh, when we talk about specific cases we'll switch and we'll talk about that in particular what do you think what do you say mm, i don't know cuz i have, just... i know you have things to say about the k-pop industry um we we so, should like you know. the, we should delve in the k-pop industry in this episode at least we should have like a dedicated let's episode let's just touch on it yeah let's we can touch, touch on, on it. it we can nibble yeah. on it Yeah, let's nibble that scroll. Yeah, let's nibble on the scroll. <laughs> let's like you know, <laughs> just just lightly tap it, not even scratch it. Yeah. Okay. So the entire issue is, mm-hmm. so everything is a product. Yeah, yeah. Right. And to work in this in this capitalist industry, mm-hmm. in this capitalist world, you need to generate money one way or another. Yeah, yeah. And since everything is commodified, mm-hmm. that means that essentially. you could in theory you mm-hmm. could do anything and you could get paid for it mhm right but there's an issue with this which is you know you need to deliver what the market wants yeah yeah right uh, your product needs to be desired by the market yeah okay but there's an added level of complexity mm-hmm. because we're talking about art mm yeah right because music is essentially art yeah in a way right mm-hmm. but with with capitalism we've commodified it yeah we have and at the same time at the same time this uh we've done like with the advent of the internet mm-hmm. and with the uh, with the beginning of streaming services mm-hmm. essentially people view the the view of people is that music should be free yeah Yeah. This is a general consumer, by mm-hmm. the way. I'm not talking about or uh, people who would love to support their musicians by buying their music like back in the day. Mhm. Right. So what used to happen before mu- like the internet really blew up was that people would have like you know they would put out a record, mm-hmm. like a record, mm-hmm. right? They had those big LPs, yeah, the yeah, big yeah. thing that yeah. And like later it became CDs. Yeah. And uh, eventually things became like you know Uh, we began to have the ability to access more data a computer yeah, became yeah. fast enough to access more data and the advent of the internet that yeah. completely changed everything yeah that so so ba- basically back in the day when you have to like play an album or like a song right mm-hmm. like it was like an activity right yeah because yeah. you you yeah. had to get all your shit out you know back then mm-hmm. when c c c cds were not even a thing cds nuts across, okay cds is not even <laughs> a thing <laughs> sorry just like a reaction it just slipped out <laughs> just, yeah just a fucking I reaction sorry about that yeah. so yeah. when like ka 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 sets were, were like a thing right and you yep. you would have to it's like a experience like an activity right but now okay. yeah. when you yeah. want to hear you anything you can just like you can just look it up oh like if you heard yeah. the song oh i don't know you can just look it up right and you can hear it immediately yep. right and if you want to find a song that you like you just whip out your phone yeah, now yeah. like i'm not saying this is a bad thing it's a beautiful thing mhm okay now uh i'm just going to take like a small like diverge onto a little bit uh, just to, just for a little bit right mhm but we we're, we're indians right because we're from india so technology took a little time to reach us yeah yeah that's true yeah mm-hmm. so back in 2004 when was the first iphone released i have no idea i think um, i think when iphone came out right i think yeah. everybody had access to it though uh, 2007 I, you're, you're, yeah 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 you're talking so, about um, nokia the 2000s. like uh, the nokia the 2000s. 1100 cuz it I'm took time to like i'm talking about the like, 2000s Yeah, yeah yeah but it took yeah. time to like re- uh, reach us that yes, 1100 yes, yeah, yes. yeah 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 uh, so like in the initial phases right like mm-hmm. it took a lot of time for gadgets to make their way to india mm-hmm. i'm talking about the 2000s 2003 2004 mm-hmm. uh, because i remember back then mm-hmm. walkman with you know the audio cassettes yeah, the sony they were walkmans. a big thing yeah, yeah, yeah they the were sony a big walkmans, thing they were a big thing this mm-hmm. is 2003 2004 Yeah, like, you couldn't walk with that shit. By the way, like <laughs> yeah. it will fucking stop playing. No, like we could run. We were running. We would, we would run and like shit. It's not working. Uh, uh, fix it on the run because yeah, we had yeah, to run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, like they would, ad- they advertise it in a way that oh, you can walk with this anywhere, right? But no, like you <laughs> have to walk. Me. <laughs> you have to fucking place it in a proper like you can like put it on your belt and shit. But like yes. that shit, if you if something happen, if you move a little bit, like it just fucking stops playing, dude. Exactly. Like my experience was different. It was I don't know. Maybe I don't know. I had like my friends when I didn't have like you know. I didn't have my own. I was yeah, using yeah. my friends as well. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I just 
guess my friend maybe he had, had like a, a fucked up better one. equipment <laughs> yeah 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 maybe that yeah. so because anyway okay so that was an entire experience man so this was 2003 and 2004 right yeah 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 and then at that time cd's cd Nuts players across the- <laughs> sorry sorry oh, man. it's just it's it it's it's a it's reaction like inbuilt. it's a re- yeah. reaction i can't yeah, help it i know i know it's okay so, <laughs> so, so, so i was CD, not even waiting yeah. it just comes out <laughs> so cd players were like a big thing yeah, yeah. So. okay yeah so like the seniors had that like when we were mm. in the fourth standard the people in the 12th 11th all of them had cds they're like damn we need, we need to get back CDs. a cd player dude <laughs> 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 right. so body is enraged right back now. then this is when you had to buy like like a separate CD with all the music. Mm-hmm. You had to go to a store mm. and buy the music because it was difficult to rip that. No one had the technical yeah, expertise yeah, yeah. to rip, to download, etc. Until like all the CD burners came out and piracy yeah. began. We can talk yeah. about that in yeah. another thing, but yeah. 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 Uh, but like after that, right, I remember <coughs> this incredible change, man, because just see, just imagine this. Okay, 2003, I was playing on a Game Boy Color, mm-hmm. right? Right. By the end of the year, uh, yeah, it was a Game Boy Color. By the end of the year, Game Boy Advance, and suddenly a Game Boy SP SP popped up, and then we were able mm. to play at night without having to, you know, get a get a freaking uh, torch because mm-hmm. I was super into Pokemon at that time, mm-hmm. right? And then a little while later, I think sixth or seventh standard, mm. uh, this is two thousand and six, two thousand and seven. Suddenly, we had access to PSPs, mm. right? You know, mm-hmm. so like suddenly, like technology. So, it, this was just my perception. I may be wrong, but mm-hmm. uh, the way that technology was available became it was available at a much faster rate. Yeah, yeah, it was after the so, after the iPhone thing, right? It yeah, just, it, yeah. Do you realize that the the just like the incline of technology? It just like a huge. If if it was a graph, it was a fucking straight up, not a curve. You know. Mm-hmm. But no, okay, so <laughs> that's what happened initially, and then mm-hmm. it fucking slowed down. Yeah, yeah, but initially when the boom happened, right, it was just like yeah. whoop. Kind of make me makes me feel think like they had like some like re- reverse engineered some alien technology, but that's like a conspiracy theory. But anyway, that's uh, a conspiracy theory. So like mm. speaking of all this uh, uh, label thing, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, coming back to the topic, I mean. Mm. Uh, no, so this ties in. I will they would like yeah. give artists all this like okay. So you sign to us. Obviously, they're gonna handle all this like 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 you know like your marketing, your you know PR, your like like your Everything. your, your di- uh, distribution of your quote unquote art, right? Yep. They won't yep. call it art. They would. It's like a commodity product for like yeah. for 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 them, right? So, they would yep. they would say all this, and you would get all those like right now. It's like the sales is like counted, but right now is also like streams, right? Yeah. yeah. So, did you know that when you pay for a you YouTube ad, right? Okay. And when it reaches the threshold, the five second threshold, right? Okay. That counts as a stream. Oh it's, yeah, it's a thing. So you can pay for that, right? Okay. You can pay for that. So I didn't know that. Okay. Uh, artists who don't know that, right? They will give you all okay. these numbers, right? Because okay. like okay. in this day and age, like numbers matter, right? Yeah. yeah. So they give you all these numbers, and they they be like, oh shit! So it works, right? So it's kind of giving them like a false um, advertising. Yeah, false um, adver- advertisement of what they can do, right? And uh, okay, the most fucked up part is like. When an album comes out, they have like a merch for the album, right? Yeah, yeah. If you're a label affiliated, you will, you are gonna have merch whether you like it or not. One hundred percent. So the merch counts mm-hmm. as an album album sale, uh, sale. What the and, fuck? And and here's why: if your merch has a QR okay. code, okay, that links back to to your album, okay. And if you sell that merch, that counts as an album sale. You know how fucked up that is. Oh, so uh, I'll I'll send uh, uh, I'll okay. send you the video or maybe we'll put the video here. So th- uh, this is what like T Pain like speaks about in his like streams and stuff. So you just okay. talk about all this like stuff, and okay. like figuring that out. Like he he knows that what it takes to win a Grammy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> he yeah. knows what it <laughs> takes to have all these streams. Like okay. to have like a million stream by yourself. 
without like okay. anybody's help and without like having a uh, thing like he he was talking about like how a million stream is like don't mean anything anymore you know what i mean but if you're doing fair it independently enough, you enough. should you yeah. should understand yeah, yeah, that yeah, that yeah. is a big achievement you know what i mean yes because like Which, everything is rigged like everything is rigged and this it just sounds like we're venting about how the system No is no it is it, but but this is the truth though this is the truth. Yeah 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 no I know what you mean dude like if if you're part of a huge uh if you're part of a huge freaking thing mm-hmm. like a studio label mm-hmm. right you you're going to be paying YouTube to uh, to mm. make ads yeah yeah you're gonna yeah you'll be paying like Spotify to yeah. push up bump up your uh, thing in the uh, in the Spotify search algorithm whatever right Mm. I get that. I understand that. I know what you're saying. Mm. And then you have all these uh, corporate deals where you can get your music into part of like mo- or maybe movies, or some shit like that, right? Yeah, or yeah. Advertisements. But that the the film thing is like another another whole ball game. Um, right now I'm mm. just talking about like how they like market this shit and how they get okay. all these numbers, right? Okay. And okay. and they could just they could just use that number for their own advantage too, right? See another and naive that's, that's uh, artist point. like you know come you know they're about to sign Little they they know the artist. artists yeah. have like okay a potential go golden goose right mm-hmm. uh, they be like oh look at these numbers you have look the artist this, this is what we did for X Y Z rapper yeah yeah we so took his thing from thousand streams <laughs> to ten thousand album sales yeah, yeah. so we like generated this much money in so sales that's, revenue that's that's the thing but i'll i'll mm-hmm. also talk about this person who fucked over the label though okay. the the music the the big 3 so the big 3 is okay. warner mu 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 music universal okay. and sony these are the big 3 ah, and everyone sony. everyone else is a branch every okay. other label is a branch of, of them so three. the big 3 is those three those three bitches yo i want to i want to i want to tell a story of uh how he fucked over universal basically okay Go on. So, there's an artist name. You must have heard of him. His name is Frank O Ocean. Right? Okay. Yeah. And uh, this name. So Why So he name? um yeah, I I probably from my playlist cuz I have his songs on there. So yeah, So what I Let me just explain that because like mm-hmm. you've just Uh, so I've been trying to explore music, and I have made our dear friend Leo give me music to listen to. Yeah, I, yeah. But I feel like you should also find your like own taste, you know. I do have my own taste. It's mm-hmm. mostly metal. Yeah, he likes all the. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, I like the glug 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 three thousand. Yeah. Glug, so glug, the story <laughs> of Frank Ocean. Yeah. Okay. He was a singer songwriter. He's right for like Beyonce mm-hmm. and stuff. Um, uh, he wasn't Thanks. like a singer singer like that, right? Okay. Okay. Um, he he started in this hi- hip hop group called Odd Few Future, in which Tyler okay. the Creator is from. You guys know like mm-hmm. Earl Sweatshirt, mm-hmm. Tyler the cr- Creator. If you guys are like hip hop head, like you you know who these people are. So amongst those people, Frank Ocean was one of them. He was the rapper, right? <clears throat> okay. as a rapper and uh, so so the the label that in question right now is Def Jam which is a direct branch of Universal right okay so Def Jam is notorious of okay. for fucking over their r r artists right <laughs> oh dear notorious okay. Uh, so big, so big he okay. they 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 made a deal. He made a deal with uh, Def Jam, t- a two album deal basically, right? Okay. Um. So what happened was, uh, Frank Ocean met with this dude called Tricky, Tricky Stewart, right? Tricky Stewart is a uh, he made like all this hit songs like Umbrella, like Rihanna Umbrella, uh, Justin B B B B worst uh, debut song. Baby, you guys know that song, right? So he he's made all this like crazy track, and he signed to Def Jam, and Def Jam treats him very nicely, yeah, mm-hmm. because you know Golden Goose. Um, yeah, okay. Because okay. he makes all these like hit songs, right? So mm. he he gets signed to Def Jam, and he doesn't get uh, the the relationship from the get go. Not great, right? Not great. 
Uh, okay. But he has signed for a two album deal. Yeah. This is very okay. important, yeah? Two album deal. Okay, two albums. All yeah. right. I want to I, I also want to I want I'm telling you this story because I want people to be more aware because I feel like a lot of people are not aware of this, right? Okay. So, okay. <clears throat> two album deal, yeah? Yeah. Right, right. And uh the label just just no communication at all. Didn't give me give him any shit, right? He just he just got signed, yeah? <laughs> and he, yeah, okay. he he had songs but they were like not really you know they don't really care so they 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 had the they had the artist and he was almost about to get shelved shelved means get signed you don't okay. do anything mm-hmm. you go back in the shelf yeah so mm. there's this thing back in the day where all this hip hop are artists do what they do is they make mixtapes right so mixtapes okay. is a form of album where where normally it's free uh it's free for everyone to hear and it's it's mostly like uh sample stuff like they sample some part from like a like a really uh of uh, uh, already out song and they put like beats on it uh uh do you have any idea of like sampling no like yeah sort of yeah so basically Isn't like they you use like, like a part instead, of another song yeah yeah a part of a song and okay. then they put like beats on it. Yeah. Normally it's really hard to like clear because like, you know, the song is already out like copyright stuff and all that, right? Like for okay. example, like okay. Eminem that song My Name Is My Name yeah, Is yeah, it's yeah, a yeah, sample yeah, yeah, from yeah, a song yeah, yeah. that then that guitar part, right? Oh. So it's sample from a song and up till till this day Eminem don't get like all the revenue from the song because the main artist eats the royalty. Mm. Anyway, oh. so that's the uh, thing about... We can talk uh, about sample music on another day. So so he made a mixtape without the album independently because he can. He can do it because he just okay. he's just in contract for two albums, right? Not a mixtape. So he made this okay. mixtape called okay. Nostalgia Ultra. Yeah? Okay. It, it blew up. It fucking blew up, right? All right. It fucking blew up. And also he was part of Odd Few, 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 Future, right? Which was like blowing up as well, right? All right, all right, and, all right. Uh, so he he made this album and uh, mm-hmm. he he blew uh, the, the album, the mixtape fucking blew up. So now Def Jam is interested, right? Hey, They're bro, like, listen, you hey, blew bro. up, bro. It's popping, yeah. bro. Let's Come on, bro. You want to do some They're music like, together? Let's talk. Let's talk. And mm, yeah, Frank was like, yeah. all right. So mm. so from then on he started hatching this plan, right? Okay. And I won't tell you the okay. plan until like after. So, what? so he started hatching this plan. Okay. Uh he was like, "All right." Def Jam was like, "Okay. Uh we like your shit. Mm. Uh we like your shit. You're going to make more 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 uh, mu- music for us, right? So two okay. of the songs in the mixtape they made into a single, right? put out like okay. mu- mu- music video or whatever and they okay. they wanted to make the whole album mm-hmm. under the, the under, under def mean. def jam basically the mixed oh. into an album but oh. but the okay. album had so many samples that it was so fucking hard to clear that they had to like they had to like just uh just shelf it basically right okay okay Did so now on purpose, though? yeah what did he do that bit on purpose? The the whole sound. We don't know. Thing? We we don't know. We don't know. Okay. okay it could okay. be. It could be. But uh, so now, they were like, "All right, now you're gonna make the album for us, right? Two album contract, yeah." And yeah, Frank was okay. like, "Cool. Give me a million dollar and all the creative control. He has the power now to say okay. say say that." And the De- uh, Def Jam was like, "Cool, right? Mm-hmm. Give him the million because million dollar is like." It's just peanuts. They're going to get it back Yeah, anyway. it's peanuts for yeah, them. So theirs. they're like, all right, yeah, cool, yeah. right? <laughs> dumb mm. artists are another dumb artist, right? Oh. <laughs> Ha-ha, <laughs> dumb artist. a million dollars. <laughs> now, take it. his mm. first album, right? It's okay. called Channel Orange under Def Jam. Mm-hmm. Released it. Fucking blew up, right? Fucking blew right. up. Okay. Won a Grammy. All that shit, Whoa. right? All Whoa. that shit. Okay, okay. Right. And he became an R&B singer, by the way. Just putting it out oh, there. Oh, he shifted. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So, I mean, he still rapped, 
and shit. But his main shit was like an R&B shit, right? R&B now. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. So, now, after the album came out, label, mm-hmm. ra- ra- radio silent again. Yeah? Oh. Frank, Frank o- Ocean was about, uh, was gonna release another album, but then like, it, it took him, it, it, like two years, he was like, just like silent, right? Two years. Okay, okay. But then after two years... I'm not. I'm not sure about this timeline. Uh, but like, let's just say it's but a the, tough, but the uh, whole tough f- whole shebang ended in 2016. That that's all I'm gonna say. Okay. So okay. okay. He he said the album uh, the next album has two versions. That's what he said, right? The al- next okay. has two versions, and one of them is gonna be a magazine. Oh no! He said one of them is gonna be accompanied with a ma- uh, magazine. Sorry, um, that's what he said, okay. right? Okay. Again, silent, 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 right? right. Then, okay. our man Kanye West comes. <laughs> oh! So, Kanye West put out <clears throat> his album called uh, Life of pa- Pablo, right? In okay. 2016. Yeah. Okay. And in this track, he, he featured uh, Frank o- o- Ocean in this track called Wolf, right? Okay. Uh, okay. He had his verse and everything in it. But... Kanye West re-released the album without uh, Frank o- o- Ocean part in the Wolves track, but on another track right after Wolves, and he called it Frank's track. And oh. it was just Frank o- o- Ocean singing for like 58 or 38 seconds. I'm not sure. Yeah? Okay. okay. So that was this. So p- p- people are fucking hyped now, right? Yeah, now, in enough. August... A first or second, I don't remember. He, on his website, Frank o- Ocean we- a website, there was a video playing, like a live stream, right? Okay. With the Apple link. Yeah? Oh, okay. And when people clicked on the link, it was this, his drop of the album called Endless. Yeah? Oh, he just put it out? Yeah, yeah. So, but, but, the thing was not out yet. He put the uh, li- live stream out for um, 140 uh, hours yeah okay it was just life it was just this dude who the i mean frank o o o ocean he was just making a fucking stare yeah he was making a fucking was- stare right so after the end of that one uh, 140 hours okay he put out this apple exclusive thing uh album called uh, call endless it's a visual album yeah the uh, tracks are like ambient, whatever. You know, it's it's pretty, okay, you know, okay. ambient and uh, all, all that. Pretty nice, but I feel like he just like fucking made it, right? Just for the sake of Because he had a two, yeah, two album, album contract. contract. Yeah. So his contract ended now, yeah? Yeah. The contract yeah. ended now. Everyone's, everyone's like excited for this endless track, but here's what happened. The next day, okay. immediately the next day, okay. he put out his album... Under his label, own label, his own, Boys Don't oh, Cry, oh. called Blonde. And that was the oh. main album. Remember when he said he, he was going to have like two album, uh, two yeah, versions yeah, of the yeah. album? One right? of them is going to be, yeah. Yeah. So now, Apple, it's an Apple exclusive album. So Apple has to pay him, right? So oh. all this big artist, so he, he's like huge right now. So okay. since it's an Apple exclusive, Apple paid him $20 million. To him, Ooh. no cuts to the label because he doesn't nice. have any ties to the label anymore. Right? Nice, yeah. And yeah. out of that twenty million million dollars, he gave two he gave two million dollars to Def Jam and U- Universal Audio to get ho- all his masters back of oh. Endless and Channel Orange and and his two singles from Nostalgia Ultra. So now he owns that as well, the masters. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> right? Yeah, that's a big brain move, bro. That's right? a big brain move. And yeah. and the uh, and the funny part is he told this elaborate plan to all of his friends, all of his uh uh la- la- label friends, and nobody believed that it was gonna work. <laughs> oh. Nobody fucking believed that it was gonna work. And and now and now he's just like he just like for, out of that twenty million, it's eighteen million, right? Because yeah, two million yeah, he gave the thing. Million, yeah, 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 yeah. And the label tried entirely. to sue him, but they can't. They can't. Uh, because the contract was, was over. He didn't violate it's anything. 
Yep. And the Universal Audio was so pissed, so pissed that they uh they made a rule that no more exclusive with any streaming services. Be- ever. Yeah, ever. Uh, for any of their artists, basically. So they they're not gonna tie in oh. with the thing. So that was because of Frank, O Ocean, and that's his story. And nobody nobody fucking talks about this enough. Like nobody fucking talks talks about it like this enough. Because well, I didn't know about this. Yeah, it's. I didn't it's, know this was. It's a fucking a thing. wild shit, bro. This dude fucking hatched the plan. You should have. Sh- I I fucking watched that video because I was like re re researching for this, right? Okay. It's like a hundred and forty hour video, but condensed into forty five minutes. And this Dang. man is just making a stare, bro. <laughs> Yeah, so it's uh one one hundred and forty hours of live stream, okay. uh condensed into forty five minutes, and this dude right. was just making a fucking stare, bro. Like a just stare, woodwork. meaning like a step, like thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah step, like, like a step, woodwork. Bro? He was woodworking, and he was making a step, bro. Oh. Yeah, it's 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 step, so bro. it's so wild, dude. It's so wild, and not many people speak about this. And, That's because uh, they don't want to know that the freaking label lost. Yeah. They don't want people to know that. It's so wild, dude. It's so wild, man. Dude, he beat the freaking label and he lived. He, and he beat caused the it. system, dude. He beat yeah. the system. And yeah. 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 And he lived. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, most artists have to go through, like, shit. Like, like even he had to, like, suffer... Uh, he had to make like tracks for like mm, I think it was like Adidas or like Nike. I don't know which one. Okay. Uh, uh, you know how like you affiliate with like a sports brand, you have to make a track for them. You know what I mean? Oh. Just I, I, to, you I, know I, to get the check. Just to get the check. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. we had to do all that, and many artists have to like do all that. You know, like all these artists, like oh, like we have a Converse, you know, oh, shit. brand uh, amb- like sponsor, be our brand ambassador. You know? Okay. Okay. And then they become like the face of the brand, and now we have to make a track for them. Oh. So, yeah. So that that shit happens a lot, and he had to do he had to go through that as well, but okay. it was all worth it in the end for him. <laughs> in the end. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, so wild, dude. He had his I heard heart. the story. It's so wild that he, because everybody thought like, okay, if you have an album, then you should wait because your first thing came out. He was like, no, I'm going to put it out the next day immediately. And that's what he did. <laughs> like, did he get like the clearance from the album? Because like, you know, I'm done. He yeah, because he has, right? yeah. he has like he a must two. must have planned that shit out. Yeah, yeah, he, he there's planned no way that he shit just out. like, you know. Yeah, yeah, bro. Didn't he, clear he, all of this shit legally. He planned this meticulously, dude, because no, he, had saying, to, right? he had to go through like lawyers, right? Yeah, obviously. Different type of lawyers because the label, I think the label gave him their law, like lawyers and their yeah. lawyers like work for them, like not for yeah. him. So he had yeah, to change yeah. lawyers and stuff. Yeah. And after he figured that out, figured all of that out, and he was fighting for seven years, by the way, don't get me wrong. Damn. And yeah, so. Oh. He, this happened, this ended in 2020? 2016, 2016, yeah. But 2016. like he kept fighting post that, is what yeah, you're saying. Yeah, post that, yeah, basically. Yeah, obviously, okay. Yeah. yeah. So no, it's, they uh, just lost their freaking cash cow. They, f- they fucked up, dude. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. This is a classic yeah. case of them fucking up. Uh, <laughs> them not like, you know, and that's that's why they don't want people to understand that they are, you know, they can fuck up too. And that's why yeah, the story yeah, is not they, that because, like, well known. Because they, f- they seem weak now, right? Yeah. So yeah, Just read the fucking contract. Even when you freaking listen... Even when you follow the terms of the contract, they fuck you over, dude. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, yeah. They're like, Damn oh, me. do you know this one? Uh, s- section so, uh, so-and-so, point three four five uh, yeah. under the thing. There's so many claws under there. And now we have to look through it. <laughs> you know, we have that. You signed it. That's how so, they fuck, yeah. fuck you over. Yeah, yeah. This, this, this happened to somebody, dude. I've been mm-hmm. following that, right? Mm-hmm. That's fucked up. Uh, okay, so, like, you had given me some homework, and since I did my homework, I'm just mm-hmm. going to talk about this, right? Sure, sure. So, you asked me to look up, look into, mm-hmm. what do you call it, uh, Doja Cat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I did. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I oh, watched she the won a move. Grammy, by the way. Nice. Congrats yeah. to her, bro. Congrats yeah. to her. All right, so, uh, I think the most fun thing about the entire thing was me having to watch the video. Mm-hmm. Moo. 
Oh yeah, this. Yeah, uh, she knew what she was doing, dude. Uh, okay. She. That was a meme, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was a well-researched meme. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Dude, it had like everything. Okay. It had everything. It had everything, man. Yeah. I didn't realize that's where the the my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. They're like, it's better. I didn't know it was from there. No, that's another song, dude. But she oh. It, yeah, oh, he just she just that. like referenced it. It's a, uh, it. yeah, okay, it's cool, another cool, song. Cool, cool, my bad, my bad, my bad. I thought like you know I was like what? Do you kind of sing this? This is from here. I was like shook it. But yeah, yeah dude. So why? Uh, so Doja Cat's story mm-hmm. is essentially she blew up on thing, mm-hmm. and your entire point is that now she's not putting out as much music, or she do- she doesn't seem to be enjoying the process as much these days because of the labels control. Right. Yeah, yeah, and Be- yeah, you you can see in like the movie video. I I watched it like I I paused at certain intervals just to take in the entire majesty of that video, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. of that music. You know, okay, I had to appreciate. Okay. I had to pause to appreciate kind of the sus. intensity of the kind music. Kind of sus, but alright. The music, bro. It was the music. I had to enjoy the music. You didn't want me to. If you didn't want me to enjoy the music, why would you tell me to do some homework, man? You kind suck. of sus. I you just suck. Said, I just said look up. On her saying that I'm gonna quit music, but yeah, whatever, bro. <laughs> I I looked up Doja Cat. That's all I know. Yeah, I yeah, looked yeah, up her sure, history. Sure, 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 sure. There was sure. a meme about her being Tamilian, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, Tamilian, huh? Interesting. Yeah. So and anyway, uh, so my she... entire point about her, right? She was mm-hmm. self-made initially. Sorry to cut you off. Yeah, no, no worries, no right? worries. So she was self-made initially and she she gave into that uh, I guess she uh wanted that wider audience or something. I don't I don't understand that because she was really doing well by herself, but mm-hmm. her music has evolved. That much I can tell you for sure. Mm-hmm. Right? But my my point over here is right. I I'm not really going to talk about that. I just wanted to meme about the, that video. Mm-hmm. But Remember my first initial thing about how this entire thing is problematic, right? So we mm-hmm. don't have an answer to this. So to continue that initial point that I had made, mm-hmm. so when I sp- this there's an issue with the industry as a whole, right? Yeah. Because let me just speak about why. Mm-hmm. So an independent artist, mm-hmm. all right? Um, they need to put out music, mm-hmm. all right, and they're gonna be paid shit on streaming. Mm-hmm. On the streams, because mm-hmm. that's just how streams work. There's so much music out there, mm-hmm. and it's uh, and a very small percentage of musicians get all the streams. Yeah, yeah. This is like the Pareto principle in work all over again. The eighty twenty principle. Like twenty percent of the artists get eighty percent of the streams. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is just just to say that a small minority gets mm-hmm. major the majority of the benefits, mm-hmm. right? And it's mostly these big name artists. Like Taylor Swift, right. she's the most highest paid. On yeah, the, like, exactly. The cuts, basically. Exactly, the, yeah. exactly. Right. So, the issue is, music has become a commodity at at the same time that it's become free. Mm, yeah. Yeah. You see the you see the contrast there. Mm-hmm. Musicians need to make money, mm-hmm. and uh, one of the ways for them is to commodify their art, which is their music. Yeah. Mm-hmm. but music has essentially become free so very few people are willing to pay for music these days yeah because it's true. free mm-hmm. right and this used to be a major source of revenue for artists earlier mm-hmm. which is why now tying into the whole thing about artists getting into the mainstream through a label it's because labels offer huge they okay so so they essentially subsidize and they expedite the process to they make it faster for example yeah, yeah. if a small time musician has to go on tour yeah they they, you know, have, they have to book a, venues they have a small they have a si- system already like up yeah. and running right mm-hmm. but for an independent artist if you're doing this for the first time you have to figure shit out yeah, you have to figure, figure so everything much out. shit out yeah got to have a team it's very cost prohibitive i know i know like independent and all but you still got to have a team you can't do it alone you got to bro you got yeah. like how are you how are you going to set up a venue how are you going to market that you're playing yeah. at that venue yeah. and then like get tickets and all that shit and then uh, set up merch merc mm-hmm. whatever mm-hmm. have the thing so essentially like you know 
earlier it was seen as selling out but now it's just the way to go to, if you yeah. want to be a musician full time and yeah. at the same time well yeah. focus purely on music yeah cuz you could do music on the side and then you know work on like something like you're doing mm-hmm. and i'm trying to do like mm-hmm. now right yeah uh, but that's the thing about the creative industry man every other freaking it's a huge freaking problem right so i guess one of the only ways to overcome this as a musician is i'm thinking like we should make ourselves a brand yeah that's right? that's, how, that's how and then monetize on that that's how it is and it's also yeah. like it's also so tough to uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's to that's monetize true. something that is so near and dear to you which is your art right because and it's a part of you <laughs> yeah it's a, it's a part of you and it's it is so like tough to do that but in order to like survive in this capitalist world <laughs> you need money <laughs> you need to do that cuz you you need you need money cuz sadly the money that we created is go, it's going to end us all <laughs> yeah like so it's um okay so we're getting into political theory now. no no we're not going to go go there so my point i know someone who will enjoy this you bit. to uh uh ask you to uh thing uh research on do do jacket is because mm-hmm. back then she mm-hmm. used to um do live shows on instagram yeah. and she would yeah, just yeah, make yeah, yeah. uh like beats she oh, would like just it. make yeah. a thing with the fans and just write songs with the fan and that's how uh she used to do it she've always done that right and she enjoys yep. doing it that's why she does it but yeah. ever since she got like signed to the label I don't think the label has any issues with her doing that but it's just that she doesn't have any time anymore because she has so yeah, much thing going things. on okay like yeah. photoshoot there like okay music yeah, video yeah, yeah, there yeah, yeah, i have to go yeah, to this yeah. event you know what i mean and yeah. i feel like she is right now she is like just like like burning out not like artistically but like just like as a human being and she i don't mm. think she likes uh how how it's like working out for her even though she's like the biggest artist right now yeah fan of fan of that's the thing about success bro as as you get like move higher and higher you do less things of the things that you like got you to that place yeah and yep. i think like i think the, the also the problem is like everybody uh glamorize all this celeb- like all like fame and shit right and okay. and people who like watches uh mainstream artists right okay um they they would want to see like a mainstream artist to have a certain set of aesthetic if that makes sense yeah yeah that's the whole panem it's a senses you know people have expectations of the people that they perceive to be above and they worship essentially because we've replaced gods with people celebrities yeah but here's the thing i asked you to research for the do 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 jacket because she's an anomaly <laughs> right dude like she still does her own thing she does go yeah. live on instagram every once in a while and she does weird shit yeah and that's yeah. her entire brand no she is an anomaly as in like she doesn't try to act like a celebrity celebrity or she doesn't act like oh, i'm the most beautiful person in the world like she just does like dumb shit as well right Just okay. puts out okay. like just like some weird ass like picture, just like not vibing. well put, <laughs> not well just put, vibing. just chilling in the house. You know what I mean? Yeah. But she's yeah, an anomaly, yeah, yeah. and uh, even for her to feel like that, I know that shit is like fucked up. You know what I mean? Bro, like okay, so since we're on this, right? The entire fame thing, it's all it all ties down to Hollywood essentially, right? Because yeah. that's where the big club is, right? Yeah. That's the big exclusive club, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. and uh if you're a celebrity in one way or another you are linked to hollywood in the west mm-hmm. i guess we're talking about this so much because you know the west has such a an influence on our consciousness or something cuz yeah, they at yeah, least like, at the has, moment, like so much like influence monetary on everyone, power dude. dude monetary yeah, yeah. power it's they because of the monetary that as well. thing yeah but i think that's ending it is it is it is yeah like with the yeah. rise of k-pop and shit right yeah yeah um dude like i just read this entire thing about how a korean culture is sweeping india 
Like Trump I read has, this entire it, article. It has yeah. been sweeping India ever since. Like okay, well, let's let's talk about that in another uh, thing. Yeah, yeah. But uh, but yeah, I used to go to all these like conventions and shit like while I was in like degree and shit. Anyway, oh. Um, uh, sorry, Why wasn't I all, invited? Well, you were my friend then. <gasps> <laughs> we weren't, we weren't like that. We weren't that bad. close. And you used to. I can't you believe. had also. You also. You also had like other prior engagement. Anyway. Mm, um, okay, I see what you say. So, but maybe if I was in this, I wouldn't have had those prior engagements. No, no, just, no. You, what? you, you, you had your your shit down. Like you had your priorities down. Uh, but yeah, mm. so. So, the rise of K-pop, right? Uh, the uh-huh. Hollywood has been like Hollywood has been trying to like tap that shit, and I okay. think like it's not working. Cause, like, I mean, they did get BTS to go on James Gordon show. Yeah, yeah. I mean, place. that's that's a different different thing. But like, I don't think BTS is like signed to any like Hollywood. Shit, oh yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. That no. Yeah. Dude, like, so, you think, like, so they're gonna let that? You think the labels in South Korea are gonna let that happen? Also, the label Big Hit. Okay. Which is on like which BD like BTS is signed to. Mm-hmm. When they started, they they were like startup vibes, you know. Oh. Yeah, and it's like it, it was like a really like they were like against the big three in Korea, oh. which is like YG, JYP, and SM Entertainment, and they were like now they are part of that now, which is insane. Okay. okay. Which is insane. So like props to that. Yeah. So. Yeah, a little bit to touch on a little bit of BTS, um, you know, uh, BTS and K-pop. Uh, yesterday, one of my favorite group came out, and I cried. Oh man, yeah. <laughs> I cried. I uh, if you did, if you don't know, it's the the name of the group is called Big Bang. Uh, I checked this morning, and uh, globally, they're number one right now. Whoa. Uh, yeah. The the. Th- the views don't mean anything, but like this thing came out like 15 hours ago. Let me refresh this. It's 12 million views now <laughs> on the thing. Damn, I don't know how the fuck these people like does the thing, but yeah, um, uh, interesting. It's uh, it's interesting to see. Uh, they debut in like 2006, and they're like in their early 30s now. And Which is still, not that old, still, okay? I'm just saying what they're still killing it, is what I'm saying. Because normally yeah, yeah, in the yeah. age of K-pop, right? Yeah. Okay. It's like that saying. is I old in the age of K-pop, at least in the conventional way of like how, how yeah. they think. Like, because yeah, yeah, they yeah, always yeah. want like fucking child to like they, to start like just like, not even eighteen, right? Okay. And yeah, they because they, they the, train these kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, yeah. Oh, don't get me wrong, like Big Bang also like gone in th- into, through that training as well. They've gone through through that. And they were like the first uh, Korean boy group that did like hip hop. And it was like different at the time. And like you've heard their songs, right? They, their style is different. They just look different. Like the way they like dress and shit. Okay. It's just different. And I'm, I was, I'm so sad. He's being such a fanboy. I'm so right sad. Now. I'll tell you why on the after the thing, but I won't. I won't say it here, because okay. this is a pretty conventional topic. Uh, not okay. conventional okay. Uh, thing. What is the uh, un- uh, controversial? Yeah. <laughs> what, oh. what was I thinking? I was like conventional. Topic, unconventional. But, conventional. Uh, no, no, what? no, no. Controversial. Yeah. So, so yeah. <laughs> also, I just want to say all those armies out there. Uh, that's what BTS fans are called. Um, just no. Just remember, I I have no hate or over. There's no hate or anything, but just know that, uh, BTS got inspired by Big Bang. Just I just want to put that out there. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna start a war right now. Oh my <laughs> oh, god! Shit. No, no. I just I just, I, I it's, know it's, people it's, it's who true, are like though. rabid fan girls of that. Them's the Them's facts. Them's the facts. Okay. Them's the facts. Yeah. Cool, cool, yeah. cool, 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 cool. Gotcha. So, oh shit, that that just got into my thing. Yeah, I heard that. That's problematic. Okay, I think like that's a good pos- that's a positive vibe to end the video or like yep, the podcast just, on. 
just right. starting a war with the BTS yeah. army. Yep. <laughs> yes, BTS army. I just want you to know that these people. We love you. Ones. We love BTS. I actually do. Yes. I actually do. They're very talented. I, I, I kind of like them. They're here. they're one of the K-pop group that makes their own shit. You know, most of the you K-pop groups. This. Yeah, they have a producer, and they have, don't wow. get me wrong. BTS still works with the producer, but majority of the stuff. It's on like self produce and that's why Big Bang is like really, like different because they produce their own shit. Noise from the other thing, yeah, yeah. I think our artists should inspire other, our artists. <coughs> that's yeah, literally the point of music, dude. Yeah, just you know, inspiration, bring inspiration, spread inspiration, clap them cheeks. Yep. For inspiration, yes. Wonderful. Sell CDs, Thank you for your message. nuts across the face. All right. Face. Okay, enough. I'm going to cut it off right now. All right, cool. See you guys. Bye. Bye.